Welcome back. We are here looking at uh, indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, May 24th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And it was looking so good on, um, on Thursday, and on Friday, it technically just, well, created this technically a shooting star here and that is not a very good sign that could be a sign that we're going back towards the bottom here at the 50 moving average 4091 is where the 50 moving average is and also the bottom of the bullish band break below there then we have the previous lows here at 4034 and then we have the 4000 level here which should be massive um well, massive support break below here that opens the door all the way down to the 200 moving average. But uh, at this current stage, then we basically break this upward trend. So we didn't get close to the 200 moving average right here, but not really. That's quite far away. And um, at this point, it's probably just going to be really, really choppy. We could also just continue sideways. And um, yes, but if you look at technical indicators, they do favor the upside. The, MACD is still in bullish territory and is becoming flat, still underneath the signal line. Stochastic has crossed the signal line, becoming bullish. Uh, CCI is uh, getting into positive territory, becoming bullish as well. And the RSI is also bullish at this point. A lot of room to the upside. But this candlestick here, that pullback on Friday, that is not a very good sign. But still, we're above the 20 exponential moving average. So let's look at uh, the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones was not as bearish as the S&P was. We did get towards uh, uh, 34,400 and uh, we ended up just a little bit underneath there. We're trading above the middle of the bullish band and uh, technical indicators, they are also kind of turning around here, fairly mixed. MACD is bearish, the stochastic is uh, flat, the CCI is becoming bullish and the RSI is bullish as well. To the downside, we have the 50 moving average and the bottom of the bullet band roughly at 33,550, give or take in now that, that area. And to the upside, we have 34,750, give or take, which should be uh, quite a lot of resistance. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ did really poorly on Friday. We rallied up towards the middle of the bullish band and then got rejected and that is not a typically not a very good sign so we did a very similar thing here rallied to the middle uh, middle of the bullish band and then got rejected now we did the same thing and also got rejected and we're seeing very similar things for in other other uh, indices uh, um, tech is not doing very well and uh, it may well be that we will test the previous lows here at the 13,000 or probably all the way down to the 200 moving average. That could be. Technical indicators do not favor, do not really favor that yet. So MACD is in negative territory, but really close to the signal line. So it's still bearish. And uh, stochastic is bearish, uh, bullish. Now I'm mixing those, this up. The CCI is still in uh, bearish territory and the RSI is flat. So this is kind of looking very bullish at this point. But, and the MACD is kind of rounding off here and it seems like it's going to cross the signal line, but it's to be seen on, on, on Monday. This pullback and that we got rejected at the middle of the bullish band usually is not a very good sign. We should have seen something similar to this or something similar to this that we basically break out. We did not see that. Um, so it's to be seen on, on, on Monday. If we manage to break um, out from here, then 14,000 and 50,000 may be our target here. We could go all the way down to uh, 13 and probably the very bottom of uh, here, which is a 200 moving average. Break below here, well, that opens the door to, to significantly lower levels. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX continues to rally. We are up at 15,435. Technical leaders are all looking fairly bullish. Also, the MACD has crossed the signal line here. Kind of looks like we are going to head towards the top of the bullish band, which is also the previous uh, all the highs at 15,500, give or take. To the downside, we have the 50 moving average down here at 15,081, and the middle and the bottom of the bullish band, at, uh, give, give or take, 14,990. So 
at this point, we are approaching major resistance and could expect a pullback um, sometimes in the beginning of next week. So let's look at the UK 100. So UK 100 is, is, is struggling to get above the middle of the middle of the bullish bar, or basically take off here. So every single time this falls close to the 50 moving average, people just are buying this like crazy. So for example, here and here and here. And the uh, reason for that, do not know. Uh, probably because this is uh, an uh, indice that has been, has not really recovered and probably has most to gain from the recovery as the uh, UK economy is you know, getting back to normal and society is getting back to normal. It should kind of recover to these uh, previous highs prior to the pandemic. So it is to be seen, but uh, to the upside, we have uh, 7,113, uh, 7, which should be should be uh, resistant, and to the bottom, the 50 moving average, 6,893 at this current stage. Technically, indicators, they are not looking very bullish. MACD is bearish, Stochastic is flat, CCI is just getting to bullish territory, and the RSI is flat. So they are all over the place, not a lot of help there. So let's look at the China 50. So China 50 really had a very bad day on Friday. So it doesn't really mean that we'll, we'll break down back to the 200 moving average. We're still above the 20 and the 50 moving averages, but this candle is looking terrible for uh, this um, industry. Technical indicators are also all turning around and becoming very bearish. So there's no pullback um, at the end of the session. This is just a completely full body, and that usually means that people are just selling even at the very close of the of, uh, of this session. So at this point, if the 50 breaks, then we have the 200 moving average and also the previous lows here down to 16,564. So fairly surprising as it was rallying really nicely uh, for the last, well, basically one, a week and a half, and this is not looking very good for this in the scene. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and good luck and thank you very much.